Hello ladies and gents, in this video we're going to learn how to create a simple pencil box made up of six sides. Uh, the pencil box that we're going to create, you can see before you on the screen in the example that I've created here. So to start, make sure you've opened Illustrator and then go to File, New. In the New Document screen, make sure your measurements are set to millimeters and change the width and the height of your canvas. So for me, I'm using a piece of wood with the laser cutter that is 600 millimeters by 400 millimeters. So I'll just leave that as it is. If you're using a different size, use a different size for the canvas. Make sure that uh, in advanced options under color mode, you've set the color mode to RGB color, not CMYK, so RGB color. When you're ready, hit create. Now with the canvas created, we're going to click on the rectangle tool and draw just any size rectangle or square um, because we're going to change the size settings in the properties panel on the right hand side of the screen. So I'm going to change the width to 100 and the height to 100. So now we've got 100 by 100 millimeter square. And now I'm going to use the command and plus key to zoom in a bit so I've got a better view of that. Now with the rectangle tool selected again, draw another rectangle, but this time for the width, I'm going to use 2.6 millimeters. This measurement is the, the size of the finger or the, the tooth or whatever you call it that's part of your box joint. And that needs to be the thickness of the material that you're using. So if it's a piece of plywood that's three millimeters or a piece of acrylic that's four millimeters, you need to change that measurement. But for me, the plywood is 2.6 millimeters, so that's the measurement that I am going to use. Uh, for the height, that's just 100 millimeters, same as the square. Uh, now click on the selection tool, uh, and if you deselect this shape for whatever reason, just with the selection tool, just click on it again to, to highlight it. Uh, and now we're going to click and drag it. We're going to move it onto the inside of the square, and you can see that pink intersect line shows me that it's dead center. Um, and then I'm gonna move it right over to the edge and it's gonna kind of snap into place and you can see those two intersect lines have appeared. With that new rectangle highlighted in blue, go to Object, Path, Split into Grid and I'm going to adjust the number of rows because right now it's just a single row. So I can click on the up arrow to adjust the rows and the down arrow to reduce them. And you can see the height automatically adjusts so it perfectly fits within that 100 millimeter space. So if I just leave that as five, the, the fingers on the box joint will be 20 millimeters uh, in height. We can leave the columns alone, uh, so that's fine. Um, so just click OK. There we go. So now we've got these five uh, fingers, if you will, but they're not finished yet. What we need to do first is go to edit, copy, edit, paste. And we're going to take this version and we're going to put that on the other side of the box. Um, and then we can edit, paste that again. And this time you can either hover the mouse cursor towards the edge and, and rotate that way so it's perfectly um, horizontal. Uh, if you can't get it quite right, you can change it in the setting, the rotate setting there. So I'll change that to 270 degrees uh, to make it horizontal. I'm going to move that. Oh, don't want to move that bit. Make sure I've clicked on the right bit. So you can see now I've deselected um, the whole section. So what I'm going to do to fix that is hold the shift key and click on the individual pieces to reselect that whole thing because it was split into five. And then I can drag it up to the top there. And again, look for those two intersect lines to make sure it's perfectly laid out. Um, then I can just copy that, paste it, and pop that down at the bottom. There we go. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Right, so I can just zoom in, make sure that all looks okay. Yes, it looks fine. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make two copies of this. So I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm gonna to drag a box around this, so it's all highlighted in blue, and then edit, copy, edit, paste. 
I'd recommend you just using the keyboard shortcuts, but I'm just using the menu so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And then edit, paste it uh, a second time. Did that paste again? Yes, it did. There we go. So I'll just move that out the way. Okay, so we've got three copies of this um, box piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm using this tab, I'm just going to scroll back over to the first one, and I'm going to zoom in on that a bit. It's gone back over to the third. Okay, right. So I'm looking at my first part. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the Shapes Builder tool to build out the, uh, the fingers or the, the teeth or whatever you call them on your box joint. So make sure the selection tool is selected. Uh, drag a box around this whole part. And now go to the Shape Builder tool. And you can hover the mouse over the center of the square. And then click the mouse button or the trackpad if you're using a trackpad. And move over the pieces that you want to um, kind of join, weld onto the, the square. So I'm going to do this one, this one, and this one. You see that little line that comes away from the cursor so you can see where it's moving. So now that's one solid shape. Um, so I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to go around this one, those three, that one those three, one at the bottom, those three, and that one. Okay, now if I click on the selection tool now and just click on the background to deselect it, you can see we've got this almost finished part. All I'm going to do now is click on the corner and drag that out of the way. I'm going to highlight these parts that I don't want anymore, press the delete key, and I'll move that back onto the, uh, the canvas. There we go. Okay, now I can move over to the second one, and I'm going to make my, my second part. Um, so again, click on the selection tool, click on the background to deselect everything, and then drag a box around this second part. And then we're going to repeat this process, but the piece is going to be slightly differently shaped. So shape builder tool, I want this top bit, this bit, this bit. And I'm just going to go around and keep doing this. Okay. Uh, and then selection tool, click on the path, move that out of the way. So I don't want those bits anymore. So I'll drag a box around them, press the delete key, and then zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to just move that back up. There we go. And you can see now if I move this piece, you see how these interlock here. And they're all perfectly sized. Um, so I'll put that back where I need it. There we go. And now on to the third one. So this is going to be another slightly different shape. So I'll just um, drag a box around it. Command plus to zoom in. And this time with the Shape Builder tool, I'm going to use that one that one so same it start the same as before uh, but this time I want this piece this piece and this piece so you can see where they would interlock with that bit there um, I want that piece there we go so I'm just gonna keep going around making these parts here there we go okay um, and then the same process. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, uh, click on the selection tool, deselect everything, and then just click on the path that I want, and then move that out of the way. So those are the pieces that I don't want anymore. So those are gone. And now if I just zoom in, uh, sorry, zoom out a little bit and move that. So you can see those interlock perfectly. And uh, those there will, will interlock there with the first part so you can see so like that all right so perfect so I'll, I'll just move those um, equally spaced out there we go so now I just need to duplicate this so I'll drag a box around everything I'll zoom out a little bit uh, and then edit copy edit paste um, move that below there we go 
And that's it, those are my six pieces. So the final thing is I need a hole in one of these pieces, which will be the top of the pencil box. You can put a hole in any piece, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna put it in the first one on the top left. So I'll go to the, you could use any shape. Um, I'll use a rounded rectangle. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. So Command and Plus on the keyboard. And then just use these tabs to reposition. So just create the, the hole. It can be as big or as small as you want, or you can have multiple holes, different sized holes next to each other. It's up to you. I'm just gonna have one large one there. Uh, and that's it. So that is the box, all, all six pieces made. So all I'm going to do now is zoom out and just kind of center the canvas a little bit. And I'm going to click on the selection tool, drag a box around everything. And I'm gonna turn any fill color off and the stroke color to RGB red and the green channel down to zero, the blue channel down to zero. And obviously make sure that your stroke is set to one point and then click on the background and that's it. So you can save that now. So save as file, save as, um, and I would call it, I've already got one called pencil box. So I'll call this pencil box uh, two and make sure you've saved it as an illustrator file first. So if you make any mistakes, you can come back and change this later on. Um, so you save the project file. So save that, illustrator options, ignore them, click okay. Then save it a second time, save as pencil box two, just leave that the same. Um, save this one as an SVG. This is the file that you'll put onto the, uh, the laser cutter, onto your USB drive or however you connect to your machine. Uh, save it as an SVG and then hit save. When you get the SVG options, uh, ignore all of those, just click OK. Um, and that's it, you've now created a simple pencil box uh, using box joints. Um, you can laser cut that put it together and you'll see that all of the parts all interlock, uh, they all fit perfectly. And that's it. Okay, and you're finished.